is awesome, man. Have a great day out there, okay? It's looking good. It's looking good. Once we get over the rain, that's it. Little rain. Nice. Nice. Follow the birds. Always follow the birds. Right now I'm trolling right beyond the third reef line. Probably somewhere around 60 feet. I say probably because this little electronic gadget you see right here it's not working. Boo. So I dropped the jig a couple times and uh, by how long it took to get down there kind of figured it's around that depth. Uh, I'm trying for some kingfish now and maybe later on some sailfish. We have a sailfish. There we go. fighting a sailfish. Try to always keep the bow pointed right into it. This way you can judge which way this guy is going to turn. This guy's strong. I never to let him go behind you. He will go behind you at times. Keep the line tight. Hold on. He's going on my side. He's still way green, way green. Never bring in a green sailfish. Sure he's pretty tired. I'm gonna put a little heat on him, not too much. As he sees the kayak, he's gonna do a couple more runs. Let's see if he can give us a little air show. Again, keep the nose of the kayak pointed right at him.
here he goes. He's going for a run. green. Uh, take your time. Hopefully all your knots are good. Hopefully it's a good hook set. A lot of hopefullys. Let's get this guy back on the water. Don't keep him out too long. You gotta take your time to go ahead and release them. They build up lactic acid, which makes them stiff as a board. So, you want to make sure you get plenty of water in their gills and that they're good to go. Sometimes that can take about 10 minutes. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to follow me on Facebook.com, Kayak Frank, and also now on Instagram, Kayak Frank, Tidelines.